Hey guys, it's been a while since I did a video, um, so I decided I'd show this little trick that I found for iTunes. Um, I'd actually uploaded it before, but the resolution was crap, so I'm redoing it now. Uh, basically what this video is showing you is how you can basically organize your music if there's multiple releases done in a year. So prime, a couple of prime examples I got shown here. Uh, Paul Oakenfold's DJ Box, he releases a compilation at the end of the month showing different songs and that. Um, but the problem that you get with the way that iTunes sorts stuff by default is it will do it via year first and then name afterwards. So with these it will be organized because it has DJ Box at the beginning but then obviously it will do it alphabetically. So it might not necessarily be in that order. So a prime example would be these here. Uh, if you just let iTunes organize it as it normally does, April would be the first one because of A, and then continue through that way. It can be very frustrating because your music gets thrown all over the place. Uh, same applies with things like these, which are compilation albums. Um, 2011 will get mixed in with and stuff in the 2011, 2012, and 2013, etc., etc. Uh, another example would be something like this with the Marcus Schultz stuff. So any of the stuff that was released, it would basically be done by a year. So how do you fix this? Well, it's quite easy really once you once you know the little trick. What I'll do is it's basically done via this under the sorting tab under get info. So if I take out these, you'll see here that it's moved to there because a lot of the other stuff I have in there is organized. So how do I get that back to there? Well, under get info, sorting. Well, under the sort album artist, I've basically chosen DJ Box for all of these here. So DJ Box. Um, and then the next bit here is sort of the most important part. Um, what I normally do is this. So 2013 is the year. That's the first part. Then I put a letter next to it, which denotes what month it's been released in. So this is April, so it'd be D. I just put a bracket, and in, next, in that bracket section there, I'll actually put what the name of the album is. So April 2013. And I just close the bracket. Once that's done, hit OK. It goes back to where it was. So for example, if you look at this, I've got this sorted as Prog 2011. Now I could do this sort of as year mixes if I wanted to, um, but then that keeps it separate from the Global DJ Broadcast uh, Top 20, and also keeps it separate from any of the other stuff. So I could even, if, if I get Thoughts Become Things 2, then I could keep those two linked together. Um, and so this way you actually have some control over how your music gets sorted in your iTunes library. Now the thing to remember is once you start doing it, you, you're going to have to do it for most of the stuff that you have, but if you're starting from scratch, then it's pretty good to do from the get-go because you can sort it out as you, as you need to. Uh, I hope you guys find this helpful and I hope you can... Uh, Hope it gives you some ideas on how to organize your own library. If you have any questions, by all means, leave them in the comments below.